What's up guys, K-Dog 357 coming to you here. Today is the end of the day, um, October the 8th. Now I think what I'm gonna do, because this video could be long if I just did all the guns, um, but I'm gonna show you these guns. So I'm gonna start out with revolvers and I'm gonna end that video, then I'll start my butt another video on semi-automatics. And then I'll finish up another video, unless I combine semi-automatics and long guns, but I'll probably do the long guns as the last video. So, I'll have probably three videos coming to you, one or two tonight, maybe one first thing in the morning. So, let's start out. Now, bear in mind, the video, the, the revolvers that I'm going to show you right now um, are in addition to what I also have in the case. So, some of these revolvers, I have multiples of these. So, um, let's start out with this one. Um, this is a Taurus. Uh, this is a model 506. This is a 38 special. Um, now this is not hammerless. So, you know, some people like double action, you know, ability to fire single action. That's fine. That's what you'd have in this gun. It's got a real nice grip on it. Me personally, I like, um, hammerless revolvers because that way, you know, if you carry the revolver in your pocket or ladies, if you carry it in your purse, when you pull it out, you're not going to get a lot of stuff that's going to hang up on this hammer spur right here. I also have, um, this is a Charter Arms as well. It's called the UC Light. Probably stands for Ultra Carry Light. And it's in 38 Special. <laughs> and this thing almost feels like it's half the weight of this gun. It is super lightweight. I do like this gun because it's got an extra long grip. So really, really feels good in your hand. This one does have a hammer spur, so it's not hammerless. But still, it's a nice revolver. By, by the way, both of these hold five rounds. And once again, they're chambered in 38 um, special. Hold on a second. Uh, ba -ba -ba. No, I beg your pardon. This one, okay, the first one that I showed you, this one, this is a little heavier and it should be. This is chambered in 357 Magnum. Okay, 357 Magnum. Now folks, one thing about this gun is it will also fire 38 special as well. Shoot 38 side of the target practice, load it back up with 357 Magnum, for defense, 357 mag. Uh, what else here? The rest of them are really nice. I got this. Um, this or yeah, this is a Charter Arms also as well, an off-duty special. This is hammerless, 38 special. Uh, grip, nice rubber grip, feels really good. But this is hammerless, so you're not going to have any problems with the gun hanging up, coming out of your pocket. Now, this gun's not quite as small as the other two that I showed you, but still a great gun for concealed carry. And ladies, this is also a great gun for uh, carrying in a, in a purse or a handbag. This gun right here is one of my all-time favorites. I got three of them here. This is the well-famous Ruger LCR 38 Special Ruger Revolver. Hammerless 38 Special. Got a nice rubberized hood grip on it. Um, by the way, this gun will shoot in the others as well. This will shoot the plus P's rounds. So just think of plus P as plus power. This is a more powerful cartridge that this gun will handle. <coughs> It'll shoot regular 38 specials, but it will also handle the plus P loads as well. It's got a nice little target sight on the front there. Of course, these 38s, they're made for one thing only, and that's for close-up personal encounters. For defense they're not target guns you don't shoot somebody 30 yards away i'm not saying that you couldn't with this gun but typically it's a three to five yard away handgun uh but the lcr uh really nice revolver this is honestly one of my favorites it's super lightweight one of the best things about it is it's got such a smooth trigger not so light that it's unsafe but not as heavy as some of your other revolvers so um, for those of you folks out there, maybe a little bit challenged, maybe starting to have some arthritis set in, I think you could still do this revolver right here. Very nice revolver. Now I'm gonna show you, I think this is the, uh, the 442. Uh, yep, this is the Smith & Wesson Airweight 442. 38 Special will also handle the plus P loads, hammerless. This is a nice gun. For me personally, and I don't have really big hands, not super crazy about the short grip. I'll just be honest with you about it. But we do sell a lot of these. You can change the grips on these guns. You can put hoe grips that are a little bit longer on these guns. But it, nevertheless, that is a fantastic gun for concealed carry. Good backup gun, too, for police officers. This gun right here is a 642. This is a 642. 
Chamberton 38 Special will shoot the plus P loads. Now this gun's gonna cost you a little more because as you can see, it's got a grip activated Crimson Trace laser. Crimson Trace lasers are the Cadillac lasers. Um, so when you're gripping the gun, as soon as you grip that gun, the laser will come on. Now, if I'm the one, if I'm one of these kind of folks that's going to run a laser on a gun, I'm going to spend an extra hundred bucks and get a grip activated laser. You know, the others would be about a hundred dollars less that would fit on the rail of a semi-automatic pistol or what have you. But if you want to carry a gun and you don't get to go to the range a lot, so you like to have the laser as a backup, um, spend the extra money for a grip activated laser in that when it's immediately when you grip the gun, immediately when you grip the gun, the laser comes on, okay? And yeah, you do have a switch down here that you can turn the laser off. So when you grip it, the laser doesn't come on anyway. But hammerless also, I think I told you it holds plus P loads as well. So it's 38 special, but will also handle plus P loads. Real nice revolver with a crimson trace laser. Um, <clears throat> this last revolver I'm gonna show you, and then by the way, I've got some single action 22s in there and things like that as well, but this is one of those other guns that I ordered just because I like it personally. Um, this is a Hoss right here. This is, excuse me, excuse me. I just had a, uh, no, I'm not going to tell you what I just had. But anyway, anyway Lord have mercy. Don't think I'm in a little inebriated here, but I promise you I'm not. Um, this is a Model 629. Uh, no, no, Model 29, Lord have mercy, I'm messing up right here. And this is a Model 29 Smith chambered in 44 Magnum. Now, old Clint carried a Model 29, I think, with a six-inch barrel blued in some of his movies. Of course, this is a stainless version. And old Rex took some flits and flitzed her up a little bit. Uh, you know, the gun's probably been sitting in a warehouse for a while, but it, as you can see, it is. she's got a nice shine on it. Nice shine. Holds, I believe, yep, holds six rounds of 44 Magnum. You talking about a gun, not a great gun for concealed carry, but to get the job done, oh yeah, she'll do. Carry it in an outside the waistband holster, be a good nightstand gun. This thing's bad. I love it. Not cheap. Uh, I'll go ahead and tell you on this one. This one's uh, eight, eight ninety nine, I believe. Eight ninety nine. But, um, and I don't even have it marked up all that much, but it won't last long. Somebody will have to have this. This could be a time finance deal, right? There you go. All right, so um, I've got actually a customer coming by uh, from a business. He closes at 7, and I'm going to show him some guns, give him some personal service here. He's looking for something, and I know him. He's a good customer. If I got what he wants, he's going to buy it. Might buy one or two or three. So, um and we'll stay over and wait for him, but I thought I'd at least get one of these videos knocked out. And you know what? He don't close with seven. I may end this one and then go into my semi-automatic video. We'll see. Uh, 1606 Westover Drive, Sanford, NC, 27330 is where we're at. Our phone number is area code 919-708-5475. And don't forget to visit on the web where you can sign up for classes, especially concealed carry, at www.carolina.com. Firearmstraining.com. You can always contact me by sending me an email at Kevin, K E V I N, at CarolinaFirearmsTraining.com. Once again, if you're watching this video, well, it's too late now because after a minute, um, it, you can't see it no ways. But some people are having problems. I'd love to see maybe some comments for those of you that are watching this on Facebook. If you're able to see this whole video, it's 8:43 right now, eight minutes and 43 into it. But I've had some of my customers tell me that exactly a minute, 60 seconds it stops or it cuts off. That is not gonna happen, of course, on my YouTube channel. So if you're having problems with that, you can just go over to my YouTube channel at KDOD357. KDOD357 is my um, my handle, my name on YouTube. You could just, in the YouTube search bar, you could just go Kevin Dodson, uh, KDOD357, and my videos will come up and you can, um, if you like this video, you can hit the video and like, um, or, uh, you know, and, not or, but and subscribe, so that way you get notifications when we load up new content. All right, so that's all for the revolvers. Tomorrow's supposed to be a, a big day here. It always is, Friday and Saturday, so you're getting a nice little preview, and we're not even finished yet. I'm going to show you some um, some uh, semi-automatic pistols and then finish up with some rifles and shotguns, all right? See ya. And oh yeah, one of my good, good, good customers, I got to start saying this in all my videos, I always do, I started out with that, um, 
uh, he's an alien. He's from Uranus. And, uh, and he knows who I'm talking about, good old Alan. Alan, stay armed and stay safe.